morning and welcome to day four. Morning. Today we are off to Universal Studios. Yes. Phil has got his Harry Potter top on and I'm all dressed in Slytherin colours because I'm a Slytherin. What is that noise? Slytherin all over the place. Phil, why have you got a suitcase? <laughs> um, because I'm leaving. Because we pack heavy for, for uh, <laughs> Universal Excuse Studios. Excuse me, park bag. That, yeah, that, that's just our park bag. Ignore that. Ignore the park bag. It means nothing. We're going to Denny's for breakfast, which we are excited for. Yes. Really excited for Denny's breakfast. And yeah, it's just going to be a universal day. We're going to pop into Walgreens, get Phil some products. Chafe powder. He wants some baby powder basically because he's got a chafe on his swingers as he called them. I didn't that's... call them that. You, you called them your swingers. I called them the old droopy swingers. <laughs> okay, you called them his old droopy swingers, but right, okay. That's enough, you don't need to know about them, do you? But, um, yeah, so, and then I think we might do another Walmart or Target trip later. Phil's, Phil's pulling a face. But we did say that because Universal closes at seven. We could go and get another one in. So oh, after uh, Volcano Bay tomorrow. Oh, right, okay, or after Volcano Bay tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good shout because we'll be out of there earlier, I'd imagine. So we will see you at Denny's. Den Uggs. Den Uggs. Best breakfast ever. <laughs> That's not Disney. Yeah. Here's the main menu. Pancakes. Crepes. Omelettes. Steak and eggs sandwiches and then you can literally order whatever you want so you can have all of this if you wanted to as well burgers but we like breakfast stuff so we'll be having a coffee and I think I am going to have that raspberry tea what have you got Phil? Some skillet thing. <laughs> Looks amazing. And I've got the American Slam. <laughs> We're very excited to eat this, aren't we? Yeah. And we both had toast, but that's gone. So we have finished in Denny's. That was lovely. Like the service as well is so good in place like that, isn't it? Yeah, she literally, do wear, do she literally kept hard. coming back and giving Phil coffee. Like we were about to go and she brought me over another glass of ice, well a takeaway cup of iced tea. Really good. Um $27. What a bargain. What a bargain. And then they're doing this thing at the minute where you can like donate money to help the kids. Let me just get in the Let me get in the car. <laughs> So, you donate three dollars to help the kids, but you get like loads of coupons, and one of them is like five dollars off, which you can use today. So you donate your money to the kids, but you're also getting five dollars off your meal. So you're saving two dollars by doing it. So it was a no-brainer. Yeah. But we tipped on the full amount, didn't we? We tipped on the twenty-seven plus the three, rather than the twenty-five. Yeah, it and we cost. tipped yeah. the higher amount because she was brilliant. Yeah, she was. Well. Yeah, literally did not stop moving the whole time. Did not stop moving. So now we're off to Universal. We've put a poll on Instagram to see which which park we're gonna go to first. Phil's laughing, but he was the one who told me to do it. I laugh at every time you say poll. Poll. It's poll. Put a poll on Instagram to poll. I say poll. I say poll. How do you pronounce doll? <laughs> you so, don't go to the. We've, we actually did it about 10 minutes ago and there's two for Islands of Adventure and two for Universal. <laughs> so, but we have got to make another little stop off first, haven't we, anyway, yeah, before we, we go into the park. So anyway, um, but we will see you there. Ooh, there. There's checking. Oh yeah, look at that. This is awesome. So 
So for those who haven't guessed, we're staying at Cabana Bay. We're only staying here one night. We've got like a little mini sweet thing. We booked it quite late, didn't we? Yes. But we figured we'd get early admission to the park. Um, although we're a bit late for early admission today, <laughs> but we'll get early admission to the Cabana Bay tomorrow, won't we? Yeah. And we thought it'll just be better because we will be at Universal. We can stay up for City Walk. We can have like a drink. And yeah. Coffee. It'll be good. We're excited. And I think the transport here is pretty decent, yeah. especially yeah. this time of year when yeah. there's hardly anyone in yeah. Universal. We are all checked in for Cabana Bay. And we've just upgraded to annual passes. We've just got the seasonal pass because there's blackout dates on them, but the blackout dates are all when we're not going to be here. So there was no point in getting a higher one because we're not coming. So here's the deal. We got our 14 day tickets for this time. Yeah. Um, we're obviously coming back throughout next year because we've got an annual pass for Disney. Yeah, we've got two trips planned out so, for next year. Yeah, so our upgrade was literally 40... It was $50. $50 it was each. $104 with tax. $52 each. With tax, yeah. So that means that we can come twice next year. For 35 quid or something. For 35 quid. Whereas these tickets are £250 each off um, Florida Six. Yeah, so, so and they were the cheapest ones as well. They were the cheapest. Sorry, you could get I don't just time. mean you can come twice. Obviously, then you're passing, so you can come. You can come whenever you want. Whenever you want, apart from the blackout dates, but which, we're not coming on the blackout. Which dates. is April. There's a few dates in April. The whole month of July and basically over Christmas, they're the only blackout dates. If you know your dates in the next year, then it's definitely worth looking at Universal annual passes. Annual passes. It is incredible. This is coming into Universal. Yeah. We have had open the wait times. <laughs> Ago, which you can reactivate for like the reactivation price of like seven dollars instead of I buying. Think, I think it's, I think it's nine dollars, but whatever the reactivation yeah. price is, instead of paying eighteen dollars for the cup and the reactive refills yeah. of it, so you can just clean it out and put it in your case with socks stuffed in it for yeah. space. Yeah. We didn't know you we could didn't keep, know you could do we that, did, no. I mean, we knew you could obviously reactivate them for the time you're here, but we did not know you could like keep bringing them back every single time. No. So that is an amazing tip. So we definitely will be bringing this back for the next trips next year with us, won't we? Yeah, definitely. Fantastic tip. So I think we're going to head straight for the mummy, aren't we? Drink this because the heat today, I'm wearing the most clothes I've worn all week. <laughs> and it is hot. That's humid at the moment, it's I don't lovely. think. Although but, I sweat a lot, it is lovely. Yeah, but I, I have got like skin tight clothes on today. Why? Why? What, have you got, what else you got in the, in in the case? A play suit for tomorrow for Volcano Bay. And that's it. Not yeah, I might have to later and then wear it again tomorrow. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, I'm so a yeah, I'm so a yeah we're going to the mummy. Oh, the Oh yeah. Um, shop there. Shop, uh, oh, we might have a look in there quickly while we're still finding it. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights, mummy. last chance. Yeah. Not that we were here for Halloween Horror Nights, but yeah, we're we love, don't want to have We love Halloween and we love horror, so yeah. have a quick look in here before we go on the mummy then. Looks like the girls, girls, girls thing from Beetlejuice, doesn't it? Been on mummy, I think that was the last thing we filmed on it. Awesome. Just got another reef frill. Orange Sprite. Nice. And like I said before, no, it's not the same. Oh, that breeze That's coming out of there. We're in London and you can already feel the cold. Yeah, you can. So, uh, it's nice to be home. 
there we go. It's a bit. Should we go and see the night bus? Yeah, let's go see the night bus. Go and see the night bus because uh, it's really funny and I like it. There's like a English record shop there, and that is exactly what they like, aren't they? That record shop. <laughs> I don't know whether that's based Accurate. on Richard Branson's original shot, to be honest. Possibly. Here we go. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. What's happening, I like the young Albus Dumbledore over there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sir, that's a great starter beard, man. In a hundred years, that's going to look luxurious. <laughs> hey, what's your name, is? Zara. Zara? Zora. Zara. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, Zara. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks great. I love it. Alright, here we go. Same chat with the dark marks. Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, he was, yeah. They like actually look like them, so <laughs> try and get a picture of one of the Green Dots workers and one of the owls from ELF, and I'll put it in here so you can see. But me and Phil were just like laughing because it just reminded me of a Santa Claus movie, which is obviously Disney, not Harry Potter. But there's Phil, I spotted him with his filthy habit of his vape and a drink. I wonder what delightful drink he's got. What drink you got? Coke. That Ch is just Coke. Cherry vanilla. Oh yeah, that's the best. <laughs> that is good stuff. It is good stuff. Did you get your uh, yeah. dragon? I did get my dragon shot, yeah. I was just telling him. But now, we're going to head over there and go Men in Black. See what the score is. Phil's probably going to win because so far he's beat me at, um, there we go, just waiting for it to focus. So he's beat me at Toy Story Mania and he also beat me at Buzz, so he's probably going to beat me at Men in Black also. Yeah. 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 Men in Black done. I got 53,000, Phil got 71. Yep. So it's 3-0 for Phil. Get another drink. Absolutely, that threw me on you. Yep. I don't know why. He doesn't normally be winning. I do. It's just no, you, no, you don't. Even in Disneyland Paris, I was like winning some of them. I think you only beat me by one or two in Disneyland Paris. So who knows what's going on? But now to the 
freestyle machines to fill up our drink. Are we going on the Simpsons ride, Phil? No. Makes me vomit. Yeah, if you suffer from motion sickness, I think you might struggle with Simpsons. We don't struggle with motion sickness at all, no, do we? No, we don't, know. But we, we both really struggle with that. Do you know what it was? Once we went on it in, the, in May, it was roasting hot. And it went down, and we were in the queue, and the queue was just dead to me. Yeah, the queue. If you've ever been to Alton, if you're from England, you've ever been to Alton Towers, the queue is like smiling. Yeah, it's totally horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible queue. But, um, yeah. So we're just walking around now. We were going to go on ET, but it said 45 minutes, didn't it? Yeah. So I think we'll walk around there and check it, but we're not waiting 45 minutes for ET. Um, if not, I think we'll do Transformers and then single riders on Rip Ride Rocket and then we'll Yeah. But um, obviously, keep it updated anyway. Shock the masses. I've never done this ride. Have I? This is my first time on ET. Verdict on ET. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So it was like it's the small world of Universal. Now, anyone who's watched any of our vlogs whatsoever will know we hate hate small world. Can't stand it. It's like torturous. But to me, that was the Peter Pan of Universal. <laughs> how have we never done that before? How, how, how have like we never you. been on ET? Oh, that was absolutely amazing. Loved every second of that. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So it is now five to two, and the horror makeup show starts in five minutes. Yep. Looks like there's still people outside, maybe. So we're going to go and watch that. And then I think Phil's gonna have a vape, and then we're gonna go and watch the animal show thing. Yeah, what time's that? Three o'clock. That's three o'clock, yeah. yeah so, yeah, cool. um, and then we're gonna try and do Rip Ride Rocket and Transformers, and then our room's ready, so we may go back to the Cabana Bay, check in, sort all that out, and then come back and do Island. I haven't run that by Phil yet, but we'll see what well, time I it is anyway. We'll have time, Island's only open till six. We'll see, because if we're done here by like, oh, I suppose, we'll see anyway. We'll see. It takes we'll long. See. It takes a... We'll keep you updated anyway. You know what's like getting around? It takes yeah, a while. Yeah, it does, yeah. All right, okay. We'll see anyway. We'll see. We'll let you know. to show you the scariest thing in the whole entire room. Oh wait, it's not that. Ta -da! Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> so as you can see, we're just about to watch the horror show. But we've literally just come straight from Rip Ride Rock out, Yes. Which is Rip Ride Rock awesome. Rock is I think the song you pick makes a big difference to how your eyes can go. Because I had Limp Biscuit Rock. I feel like, what are you going to pick? And I was like, oh, I might pick some at country. Um, and then when I looked, I was like, I don't know what any of these songs are. So I just reverted to the, the classic that is Limp Biscuit Rolling or I picked the Beastie Boys and always switched between the two. So I had Limp Biscuit on and it was like awesome all the way around and feels like got country music on and he didn't know what the song is. And it was just it does like, make a difference. And it just wasn't as good for you as it was for me, was it? So we'll probably have to go again and so Phil can pick a much better song. Beastie Boys. Yeah, Beastie Boys is good. Beastie Boys or Limp Biscuit, that's that songs. They make it, don't they? Really good. So now we're obviously gonna watch the horror show. It's about to start. Just on the horror makeup show, which is always good fun, and there is Beetlejuice. Yeah, the horror makeup show is always good fun. Gonna get a picture of Beetlejuice and then uh, maybe go and watch, see what the queue time is for Transformers. So, turn the camera off really quick there because we met G Be Be oh my gosh. Because we met Beetlejuice who propositioned me and uh, wasn't happy that I was married to Phil. But we're gonna do Transformers now. 
this is 10 minutes and then we're going to hop over to Island Park it's the last few hours before yeah. the park's closed so yeah so super excited for Hull yes it's our favourite coast of the river isn't it yes probably going to go on it twice to be fair aren't we so we're going in Transformers the adventure begins in the background over there yes yes Hulk, yes pack everything away in the bag ready yes oh my god look at it i've just seen it up there right we'll see you after Hulk guys construction around here is now no I'm too sure oh let's go and get a picture by that T-Rex picture okay. yes even though we're soaking wet after going on Jurassic Park oh there's another doggo hello puppy This mass of people is coming past. <laughs> yes, look at that. That's a really good picture. So we've just gone to our room in uh, Cabana Bay, but we'll show you that when we get back because we're going for food now. Yeah. So I think the last, sorry, I think the last thing we recorded was go, we were going on to Hagrid's. Wow. We queued for almost an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, the ride went down during that hour and a half. And then basically after like an hour and 20 minutes, they just went, oh, um, the ride's now closing definitely and basically kicked us all off. After like an hour and 20 minutes, they kicked us out. All because of this. I didn't even know that was on there until I just saw that. All because Bill Gates has hired Universal. And I think he's hired the tower in Cabana Bay. Possibly because he couldn't get a tower room. Yeah. So. Basically, when we were when we were planning this trip, um, Universal said it was open till seven, both parks. And then, when we've looked yesterday, it said sorry, I'm just putting my seatbelt on. It said that Universal closed at five and um, Islands closed at six. And we were like, well, that's weird. Like, what weird times to close them? So obviously when we've been kicked off Hagrid's, someone said, oh yes, because Bill Gates has hired the whole of Universal out. So that was a bit of a joke, wasn't it? Yeah. We did get one time use Express Pass each to go back on Hagrid's, but as we're walking out, we spoke to this American couple and they're flying back to Houston tomorrow. So they can't use that fast pass. So it's a bit like, well, there should really be some sort of other offerings for people who can't use that fast pass. I think I think the biggest kicker if it was your last day 
we got on the ride at five o'clock and the park was shutting at six yeah but it only said 60 minutes so we thought this will be our last one it's probably the only chance we'll get to ride it probably like what they were thinking yeah um so let's do it let's get on it let's spend the hour in the queue which we didn't really want to do no we didn't want to spend an hour in a queue not when we've been queuing up for 10 minutes for everything else i was going to say but that's the kicker the kicker is in that hour in the park you could have gone on three other rides because we could have got that we could have we could have got on kong which we hadn't yeah. done so we wanted to do kong we could have done spider-man and we could have done hulk again easy yes, we could have done easy. those th three rides within that hour but we thought we'll do hagrid's because you know like i said it might be our only opportunity but no so then the plan was to have panda express but city walk you literally could not walk through city walk could you it was horrendous and the battery was dead on the camera i mean we wouldn't have been able to film anything anyway but the battery was dead on the camera so we just thought forget it we'll wait until we get back so he said we've decided to come back to the room quickly have a look at the room which is amazing by the way it's like a family suite isn't it yeah it's only a little suite it's not a big one but yeah it's lovely right by the pool so we're excited to do that so we want to get it's a uh, 10 past 7 the pool closes at 9 so we want to go and get some food and try and get back to the room for 8 o'clock so we can spend an hour in the pool don't we yes um in the lazy river as well but the the resort itself is lovely a little bit gutted that um we're not going to be able to view any of it because we thought be out of universal at six um go to panda express eat and obviously that just hasn't gone to plan i mean i know what wow. happens a lot when you're in florida you know, on holiday here but we're just a bit a bit miffed aren't we that um, our plans are gone to ruin yeah i mean the whole point of staying here was, I mean, it's the, to be honest, it's the more the convenience of being on Universal. Yeah. And then being able to get into the parks early tomorrow. But we would have liked to have been able to actually use the facilities, wouldn't we? Yes. And, I mean, we'll be we'll be in the room anyway, because... The pool doesn't shut until, like, 11 o'clock at night. No, 9. On the map it says 11, what she wrote. Are you sure? Yeah. 100% because I thought, oh, that's late. I thought she said nine for the pool. We got the map. Right. Using the bag, right? It? Yeah, it's eleven o'clock, I think, God. Oh, okay. If it's eleven o'clock then I'm panicking about nothing, but I might Google it actually. When we uh, decide where we're going. We think Miller's but again, if the queue's really long then we might be busy shooting ourselves in the foot here as well. What day is it? It's only when yeah, Thursday. I should really get directions up. Right, I'm going to go because we're going to get directions up and once we know where we're going and we're in there, uh, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll do want to be on So do a little quick room tour and then we'll just quickly talk about um Miller's because I think this is gonna be quite a long vlog, isn't it? Because we're doing it in one rather than splitting it up. So you literally walk in and there's like a little kitchenette. kitchenette. So there is a coffee machine, ice bucket, microwave, some like plates in that, a fridge. Big fridge. Big fridge, yeah. Um nothing under there, just a bin. It's like a little breakfast bar a big huge window and it was said partial well i suppose it is partial pure pool isn't it because you can't really see no, the pool on the ground floor you yeah can't. you can't really but the pool is literally there right there um 
a couple of chairs, a sofa, quite a big TV to be fair, some storage there, some stores in the breakfast bar you walk in, and this is like the bedroom area, so there's two big huge beds. Do you want to do the jump? Uh, I'm too tired, so I'll do the flop. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's another big TV there. There are plugs there, but there's no USBs. There's USB in the kitchen. Oh, works. is there? Yeah. Um, into the bathrooms, quite a big mirror there. I really like the shape of that mirror. But again, like we said, like 50s is our thing. So, toilet there. And then bathroom. So, there's two sinks, but they're like separate. Another mirror, and then like a normal shower. There's some toiletries in them, and then it's like a little sideboard there, more plugs down there, and then you come in here, there's like a little uh, closet. closet with that little case in it. Not really sure what that is. Oh dear. Some sort of control panel. Yeah, I don't know if there's a um, safe, is there? I don't know. Oh, is there? Yeah. I obviously missed that then. Oh yeah, safe there. A little bit smaller than the one at Disney, isn't it? So I'm not sure my laptop would fit in that. And my laptop's not very big, but... It's a family suite that we got. And this, like, obviously... Slides across like that. Yeah, because that's a sofa bed in there, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise that. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that's a sofa bed, yeah. Yeah, that's a sofa bed, yeah. Yeah, that's a sofa bed, yeah. That's a sofa bed, yeah. Let's give it a little sit. So, we ate at Miller's. Oh, it's hard, though. Um, Miller's was absolutely lovely as always yeah i don't know what phil's doing he was rearranging chairs i'm just shutting the curtains oh, okay shutting the curtains so yeah miller's was lovely as always i'm not sure if you heard what we were saying when we were filming because it's quite busy in there and um, i had a french dip sandwich didn't i and you get like the jus yeah. with it and phil had like a big massive slab of chicken like buttermilk biggest chicken sandwich i've ever had but big buttermilk chicken spicy and you loved it didn't you but it's yeah. not something phil would normally order but he was like struggling to pick and i just pointed to it and he was like yeah i love that didn't you yep because um, i'd already seen it i thought he would really like that we would never order it and it was like 32 dollars wasn't it for 32 dollars for all that you can't go wrong with millers can you no glad we went there too fair i am yeah um it's now quarter to nine we're going to check to see if the pool's open to 11 and maybe just go and have half an hour in the pool, aren't pool we? is open to 11. We're sure it's open to 11. Well, Phil's sure it's open to 11. I believe him because I Googled it and it's Google. Said <laughs> so. so that's how she so, Yeah, it. yeah. So I don't believe <laughs> Phil, I believe Google. I believe what I read on the internet. So yeah, we're going to check that out and go and get, tie my hair up and that. Um, and then go and jump in the pool for half an hour, aren't we, before coming back to bed? Yeah. So we will leave it there. And... Tomorrow is Volcano Bay, yes, and you can walk yes. from here to Volcano Bay, can't you? Yes. So that's the plan, that was one of the reasons we chose to And we get early it. access, and so we get early access. hopefully open. we should be on most of the rides before the park even opens. Opens at 10, we get in at 9, but we're also, we were going to eat breakfast on site, but I think Phil wants to go to Kiki's Breakfast Cafe now, don't you? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know because we're walking to Volcano yeah. Bay, so I don't know. And Kiki, Probably on site might be better. I think it would be better and we can go to Kiki's on Monday because Kiki's opens at 7 and you need to be there at opening. Yeah, you do, yeah. So, breakfast on site then. Yeah. Breakfast on site then. So, we'll see you tomorrow. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you thanks real soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.